Hello everyone and welcome back to Let's Play Dark Souls No Blocking Run and today we're going to actually get moving toward the finale of the game not like near not real near but we're going to be going taking the first steps towards it instead of just forgetting everything like last time. I am of course talking about when I forgot that I had to actually place the Lord Vessel on the altar. It's a funny thing how excuse me it's a funny thing how that works you actually have to put the magical thingamabob in the place it's supposed to go instead of just keeping it on your person at any given time. But in my defense, my brain did just make the correlation of, oh, I got the Lord Vessel. That means I can, that means I can go. You know, my, I didn't really stop and think, oh yeah. I never really made a mental note that, wow, that was important enough that I had to go put it on the altar for me for some reason. Oh well. And with that now, the orange fogs will now be passable. I should hope. If this doesn't do it, then I'm completely at a loss. Yes, okay. That's good. Okay, I'm just gonna skip that because it's just... I believe I have to warp out. I was gonna say, I believe... never mind. And we'll be going to the Daughter of Chaos bonfire and I won't make you watch all that again. But we're going to the next boss that way. Okay, so now that we're back at this bonfire that we, I think we stopped at last time, or I don't remember if I came back you know, on camera. Anyway, yeah. Now we can actually fight the boss, which I believe is just a reskin of the Asylum Demon, which we've already faced twice already, so... Yeah, not a real adventurous day, but it's a day that needs to be done, because I need to get to the Bed of Chaos eventually to get take that really lovely fight which is either going to go swimmingly or just terribly depending if I remember the strategy which I think I do but getting back on track here the next boss I believe is really just a fight against the environment so it felt like it to me that's not exactly the way I wanted to roll but yeah this the next boss fights always seems like I'm cramped up against the wall or he has his back to a wall which makes it a lot more difficult for my strategy to really work I don't really want to kill that thing up there so I'm not going to try and do it and because I don't know how much I can get through today on my time schedule right now little cramped for time so I'm trying to make this as quick as possible and I think I should be able to just run past the statues up here and get into the fog. I don't think it's real, you know, as punishing as Dark Souls 2 was with that. And here we go. Demon Fire Sage. Don't just stand in front of him. Oh God. Well, that would be why. I was going to give a better reason why, but he's not really being cooperative. Yeah, that, that uh, big AoE that the previous one had as well is also here, so you really want to kind of stay behind him if you can. But if he gets his butt against the wall, it can prove a bit of a challenge. Thankfully, he doesn't seem to have quite as big of a radius on it, so you do have a bit more of a grace than with the previous. Which makes sense, I suppose, because the previous is more of an optional. This is... Well, kind of required, and they want to make sure people could actually get to the bosses, I suppose. Because I think this is supposed to be a gimme boss. Oh, crap. Oh, wasn't sure I was going to get back there in time. Yep. Uh, the fight is about as straightforward as it seems here. I don't... I probably could have went under to his right there, but it was really just more of a risk that I didn't really want to take. Because if I did that, the... Uh... I don't know what you call it, the end of the staff, the, you know, the business end of the staff would have dropped right on top of me, and that can hurt very badly. I almost just walked right into that. Oof, well. Best not get too greedy here. You, I mean, you can go pretty much to his right or your left pretty, pretty easily when he jumps, but if you, and you go the wrong way, the, that's, oh god. I don't know why I'm always so scared of that. It's like the slowest thing he can do, and it's the best thing he can do, but... I got nervous, darn it. I'm gonna try and kill two bosses today, but if, uh... 
that's not possible either I really screw up the next boss or something happens I'm going the wrong way if something happens or you know whatever then well that's just the way it is but I'm gonna try and unlock the shortcut first before going after all the fluff here which I could do because shortcuts should always you know take priority if as long as you're not being blocked in so as to just, you know, not have to have as much frustration later. At least that's what I always do. I might be called lazy, though, because I just, you know, I'll, I mean, I'm one of those guys that'll go, eh, I'll come back and explore later, and then I'll forget and never come back. <laughs> that's, the, that's the way I usually end up, you know, my dungeon runs go. In games like this, not necessarily Dark Souls, but just, you know, any RPGs, things like that. And let's go back down, because that's now operational, I believe. If it's not, that'd be a surprise to me. I don't think that I'm that off about the mechanics. I forget which one of these you drop down easily to get to the next boss. That's not the right one. Must be this one. No. Oh, wait. Damn it. Alright, well, I guess I'm just gonna look like a moron either way, so I guess I'll just go down the long way. Get that item over there and be on our way those things it's really just best to be aggressive I mean you their backs to a wall you don't want them all spitting fire unless you have a bow and arrow in which case well go ahead and bait the first one out and let them do that because I just killed myself nope nope thought I had came darn close to killing myself if I'd why did I even waste that I shouldn't have wasted that that was a really stupid mistake using that Estus there but yeah Instinct. I've been playing too much Bloodborne lately where if you're not at full health, pretty much, you know, half the things in the game can seemingly kill you. Before I go any further, I do want to level up. I don't want to waste all these 46,000 souls due to me dying to the lava, which in all likelihood is what's going to kill me if anything will next, next time, so... Or excuse me, next boss fight here. 40 dexterity should be our dexterity, you know, soft bur soft cap, so I don't think I'm going to go too much higher than that. Really, from here on out, I'm going to be looking into endurance, maybe a few more points in strength, and some vitality. And that's really my character plan. So I'm not using magic, I'm not using strength weapons, I just want to have enough strength to use, you know, any of the dex weapons that I so choose to. And I'm not even sure what weapon, like, in-game I'm looking at, I, uh... Open to suggestions. I have no idea what I should be using. I usually just use the, uh, yeah, this. Yaito. I think it's the proper way to pronounce it, but I think most people just call it the Lito, even though I don't think that's an L, but this is what I usually use most of the game. Ah, yes, the Caterpillar of Death. It might as well be what it's called, except it's a very deformed Caterpillar. First time I saw that thing, man, I think I literally did get nightmares from seeing that thing, because I hate all things insect, and that thing is just... I don't know, man. Okay, so now that the centipede demon fight started, you can see why you need to have a bit of health and know what you're gonna do here because if you try and fight you can find that little narrow thing back there but it is really really difficult to do that I've done it before I think my first let's play I did that but it's really not recommended to do that you don't have near enough room to dodge his maneuvers and actually get any kind of meaningful you know offense and without getting your butt in the lava and that will kill you very quickly here you have a fairly solid landmass to work around with so now I just gotta actually outfight the thing, which I don't remember how to do, which I... You know, if you could actually come in here, that'd be great. I can't really fight you over the... I'm gonna... Oh. Over here. Damn it. Uh, no. Go over here. Onto the land. Don't roll into the lava, Barak. That would be considered stupid. And I think he can push you, so you don't want to get way too close to the lava, so... You know, there's that. I really would like to cut his tail off, but... I don't think it's mandatory. I... know I've seen him do that jump, but I didn't remember where he landed. 
I assumed he probably came after you. Alright, well, this is working pretty good. Oh, God. Oh, invincibility frames. I missed you so. Ow. Well, if I actually had enough time to just sit there and go, hey, I think I can, you know, go in an item screen. I could use that right now and fight wherever I wanted in here, but I think I'm just fine with this little landmass at the moment. I don't know what he's doing, but that uh, was not a product. I don't think that was a productive use of anybody's time, mine included, because I just kind of sat there going, what? <laughs> oh, God. I guess you just start rolling willy-nilly when that happens. I don't know what in the hell to do with that. Well, that was, uh, really dangerous, and I forgot he did that. I guess you don't want to sit too close to his hind legs. I'll just hit his nub. Oh, I guess I can't just hit the nub of his arm. Never mind. Just hit this thing. I guess I won't hit that either because I can't. I'm inept and can't hit the thing. Oh, jeez, um, that's a new one. It's like some kind of shockwave from above. Then again, I don't remember much about this fight, even you know if I play the game all the time, because this is just not really a memorable boss to me. I've never really had trouble with it. It's just one of those bosses. He's dead. Aside from a little minor blunder in the beginning. It wasn't that bad. Oh, I remember back when I said you defeated, but oh well. It works. I think that's the mod I installed. I would have thought that uh, any mod I installed would have had you defeated. Though why did I not put on the ring before I did that? Sometimes I am not all there, folks. Just not all there sometimes. Now, there is one thing I'm concerned about, is if I go into Lost Isolith now, which I'm not going to, but if I did now, I would totally screw over one particular NPC, which I might have already done, but I'd rather not do that right now because I really, really want that helmet he has. Uh, what's that called? The Maggot Helmet? What is that thing? It, the, the one that has light on it. You know what I'm talking about. The uh, Yeah, if I don't have that, I'll have to get the lamp, which I don't mind, you know, having to get a lamp. But I don't really remember where to get out to look that up. Because I want to go into Tomb of the Giants and I don't really want to do it blind. I've done it once blind, totally, but I don't recommend doing it on a regular basis. It's actually quite nerve-wracking. and Especially poor idea if you have poor memory. So we can all see where that would cause some problems. Okay, so... Do I need... Probably need endurance so I can actually have more stamina and you know room to roll around. Not room, but you know proverbial room as far as stamina management goes. And then I guess next time we'll be going to either uh, Lost Isla. I forgot what it was called. I almost called it Moss Isley. No, Barak. That uh, pretty sure that's a uh, you know Star Wars, not not Dark Souls. Or we'll be going to. Tomb of the Giants, because I also have that pretty much unlocked. No, I don't, because I never went down there. Oh, my lord. I never went down there. Oh, well, by God, I guess I'm not, uh... I don't know what I'm doing, but yeah, thank you guys very much for watching. As per usual, if you'd like to help support the channel and help it grow, you may wish to like or even subscribe for easier access to future videos. If you have any questions, comments, or whatever, please put them in the comments below. I look forward to hearing from you. And farewell, everyone, until next time. As soon as I can find them. There we go. Farewell, everyone.